What's up, Claremont? How y'all doing? How you all doing down there in the sunny Florida weather? Folks, let's talk real estate, okay? Can we talk real estate for a second, folks? I mean, I lied. We're not going to talk it for a second. We're going we're gonna to talk it for the whole show. That's, that's, that's kind of what we do here. But what I want to talk to you guys about is something specific. Buying the cheapest house in a neighborhood, right? Should you do it? Should you not do it? Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and today we're specifically talking to those in the Claremont area. Why? Because that is where my client, Angel, is from. Angel... I want you to buy the cheapest house in the city. I got a duplex for you. Cheapest house in the city. But guess what? Shocker alert! Whoa, 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 whoa! The city's not actually Claremont, Florida. You're going to get the cheapest house in this city, and guess what? This entire city is cheaper than the city of Claremont. That's why you hooked up with me to invest there, right? Folks, Claremont is a great place, okay? Claremont's cool, but guess what? If you're trying to grow a huge rental portfolio with a bunch of doors, I know y'all be talking about like, yo, let's get 100 doors. You got to spread your money, and your money can be spread further in other areas. So Angel hooked up with me because I come out of Ohio, and we manage a huge investment portfolio for investors from all over Florida, all over California, New York, all over the world, really. We got people as far away as Korea. N not the bad one, though. The good one. Now, I'd probably... Would we in, would we let someone invest with us if they're from the bad Korea? Probably. I don't I don't know if they could actually get their money into America though. I don't I don't know how that works. Anyway, that is not the point. The point of the video is Claremont's expensive and Angel wanted a cheaper market. I have found him for that and I will handle all the management for him. And I then went ahead and found the cheapest property in that market because folks, you buy the cheapest house in the neighborhood, you're gonna win. Let's look at the numbers right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Let's pull up the numbers. What you want to do, folks, in real estate is buy the most expensive house you could find. No, no, no that's not right. No, you don't want to do that. Hold on. What you want to do, what you want to do is you want to buy the cheapest house in an area, right? You don't ever want to buy the most expensive house on the street. You don't want to buy the most expensive house on the block. You don't want to buy the most expensive house in the neighborhood, right? You want to buy the cheapest house in the neighborhood, right? You do that, your odds of losing money, very small, right? And this one, this is in Elyria, Ohio. It's a duplex. It is the cheapest duplex in the entire city of Elyria, okay? 140 School Street, Elyria, Ohio, 44035, 85 grand. Cheapest duplex in the whole city. There's a lot of margin for error when you buy the cheapest duplex in the entire city, folks. And it's pretty nice. I like Elyria quite a bit in the Cleveland market, about a half hour west of Cleveland. Uh, very nice, solid C-grade tenant base. Okay, We got one long-term tenant in there and another tenant uh, who moved out. Okay, Now... We're obviously going to need to fix up the unit of the tenant who moved out. To be honest with you, it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. But uh, units like this, usually my team, we're looking at doing the rental for about 15k. 15k, uh, unless like something insane happens, which I didn't see in those pictures. Uh, 15k will allow us to go in uh, floors, walls. New kitchen cabinetry, Home Depot loves quality stuff, right? Get you something totally rent ready. And then, then we would have another tenant in there paying $750. And the other unit is a 2 2. That one would be a 2 1. The other unit's a 2 2. That market rent is 800 Now, the current tenant, long time tenant, they're paying $600. we are not going to kick them out, though, because that would be insane. You don't want to kick out your tenant because you want rent coming in, right? Rent needs to come in, okay? Here's a little, little tipster for y'all. All right, just like I told you, you buy the cheapest house in the neighborhood, you're probably going to win. 
Well, here's another thing. You collect money, right? If you try to put money in your pocket as opposed to taking it out of your pocket and throwing it away, you will probably do better in this business, right? So when somebody is giving you $600, collect it until they don't, right? Here's the deal. This is multifamily investing, C-grade stuff. You're going to deal with turnovers. Turnovers happen. It's part of the business. You're never going to be able to be a long-term investor and not deal with turnovers. It sucks, but it's part of the game, right? So don't create an artificial turnover. Slowly work that tenant's rent up. 600 is better than no 100. 600 is better than a 15K bill to renovate their unit. Because, again, I went through both those pictures, like both units in those pictures, and neither unit really looked all that great, right? So you would have to fucking refresh that unit as well, right? So you don't want to do that, okay? With that said, cheapest duplex in the city, I recommend you pay 85 85, 15K in reno, 100K all in. Then you'd be having long term 1550 a month in rent, which is a projection of 18,600 a year. But folks, you don't get to keep all that. There's expenses, fixed variable expense estimates on the chart. What you should really be thinking you're going to clear is around 93 of your 100K investment. Only 36 comes out of your pocket. The rest is all a loan. And you'd be looking at a long term investment. Of a 17% return on your money, right? Solid neighborhood. I like Galeria. We got a ton of properties out there. I think this one is a good deal. Obviously, it's the cheapest friggin' duplex in the city. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.